Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for joining us on Sojo 1049 today. So, big day for Rob Thomas. His third solo studio album is out today called The Great Unknown. How you feeling now that the release day is here? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good to finally have it out. I think it's funny, like, it's, it's so different than, like, maybe just even five years ago, because, like, five years ago, you'd wait for everybody to finally hear the record. But now, like, half the record's kind of been released over the last month or two. You know, like, if you go online, you can find so much of it. And we've been out playing a lot of stuff live. It's been a lot more of a sneak peek into the record than you usually have, I guess. How are you feeling about the music industry as, as a singles world, almost now, compared to when the first Matchbox 20 album came out? It, things are a lot different. Yeah, I guess it's funny. In, in some ways, it's, it, it's come full circle, like, back to the 50s, because, you know, in the 50s, season first came out it was all about the just the record single and that was all people do is it was go out and promote singles with with what's going on now and with, and with all the access that people have through technology just the ways that they can be a part of their favorite groups or, or listen to their favorite songs i mean i think the state of music itself and, and the ability to have a connection with that music is kind of stronger than it's ever been i think you just have people in the business trying to figure out a way to make that model work for them the first single trust you uh ryan tedder had a hand in that him yeah, and i wrote that he was on the road i, I went down and met him out yeah he's, he's a buddy of mine and we, we played together on my last tour and so i just kind of met up with him on the road and we started we kind of just wrote in his bus actually i've seen you live with matchbox 20 probably six times and i just recently caught your show at borgata in atlantic city and that would be i guess the third time i've seen you on your own um it was like the best night you looked great you sounded great the band was so tight i loved the story that you told about writing trust you about college buddies calling you up and you intend to just go out for a couple hours and then you're phoning your wife and it's three days later like i'm coming home eventually it um, always happens that way. I know, and I was out a little later than I should have been over the weekend, and I had that story like ringing in my ears. Like, it happens to everybody. So what can you tell us um, about some more of the songs on the album and, you know, your vision going into the studio, you know, on your own after... Uh, you know, getting back together with Matchbox 20 for North about a year and a half ago. Well, you know, it's funny, like, it, to me, there, there's certain things on here, things I like trust you, that, that sound like a logical conclusion if you're just looking at the guy who wrote Lonely No More on, you know, on my first solo record back in 2004, trying to step out and trying to, to try different things. But then there's some more traditional things. The next single is a song called Hold On Forever. It's, it's a pretty traditional kind of song uh, for me. You know, it, you can kind of hear the process. You can hear me just with a guitar or piano sitting down writing something. You know, in between, between like a song called Pieces, it's just me with a piano and strings and then a song called uh, Things That You Said which is literally like me hitting my dance wall it's like as poppy as I think I could ever be and still be me as much room as my fans will give me I, I took it all so were you writing for this album while you were out on the road promoting North and have you ever written a song that you thought maybe was going to be a Matchbox 20 song that you hold on to for yourself No, you know it, it doesn't really work like that like Matchbox 20 is, is such a democracy of a band you know, everybody is writing it all the time. And then when we get together to do a project, everybody just kind of pulls out different things that they have and the band chooses whether they like that or not. I think maybe like if I had, if I had had Hold On Forever, it would have been a song that, that the guys would have been at. But I think at the time, the song called I Think We Feel Good Together, the first song on the record, was the only song that I had done when we were heading in to make this record. And the guys had just immediately heard it and said, that sounds like you solo. It doesn't sound like Matchbox 20. And I think they're right. I mean, over the years, there's, there's been kind of a definite sound because the sound of Matchbox is the sound of us four guys together and, and what those guys do when they when they get a hold of a track and they and they make a record. Um, I don't know if you could see from where you were on stage in the audience and this if this is happening on a lot of your other tour dates, but the signs that all of your fans bring with the hashtag Team Mary, how does that make you feel that they're they're so supportive of what your wife's been going through? Yeah, I think it's kind of amazing. I remember like the first night, it was, that was one of the first nights that it happened when we were in Atlantic City and it's been happening everywhere. It's, I mean, it's really, really just touching the fact that you know you, you go into this and, and you could, you're so worried I mean even her with, with, with her having these serious health issues she was concerned about you know canceling tours and having to do things like that and the support that's kind of come back at us and, and kind of the understanding I mean I think everybody you know everybody has family and everybody has someone that they love and I think to be able to be empathetic about that and kind of put yourself in their shoes and realize that I think all that energy coming back to us is, is can't be a bad thing it's got to be a positive thing to have that many well wishes kind of coming your way I think it's you know it helps people get through it was a really emotional night very cool to see we're on the line with Rob Thomas, his third studio album as a solo artist, The Great Unknown, is available everywhere now on Atlantic Records featuring the hit single Trust You, which he co-wrote with Ryan Tedder, and Hold On Forever is going to be the next single. All the best with the new album, The Great Unknown, available everywhere now on Atlantic Records. Get it. Thanks, Rob. Cool. Thanks so much, Heather. I really appreciate it. Bye. Have a great day.